Hi, I'm Patrick Tuttle, the real estate guy with Legacy Real Estate Services with FAQ Friday. For today, we're going to talk about how to avoid Craigslist and Facebook scams when renting or buying homes. We'll be right back. Facebook and Craigslist scams are rampant. And uh, yesterday I got a call on one of the houses that we have for sale and the young lady who called said that she had found it on Facebook and it is a three bedroom, three bathroom home that is listed for sale at $225,000 and she found it on Facebook for rent at $1,100. So today what I wanted to do was to write, read through some tips, these real tips that come from Facebook and from Craigslist both. So first off, this is from Craigslist. They say, do not extend payment to anyone that you've not met in person. Now here in El Paso, we've got a lot of folks that will move in and out of town with the Army. And you can get somebody that will say, hey, I'm in the Army and I'm already transferred to, say, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Typically, they're going to have a representative here that they can work with and you'll be able to verify, is this a legitimate rental? If it is, great. But make sure that you find out for sure if it is. The young lady yesterday, she found out that it was not because she drove to the property and that's tip number two, which is to go to the property and verify that it is number one, real, and number two, available for rent. Never wire funds via Western Union because if you do that, then those funds are gonna be gone forever. You will have no way to recover those funds. Additionally, if you think, oh, well, we can get the FBI involved, no, they won't go here because the dollar amount is always too small for them to get involved. So you're going to be out on your own. Transactions are only between users. So it would be between you and the owner of the property, not a third party. So if somebody advertises on Facebook or Craigslist that there is a guarantee that you'll get the house, stay away. Run. Don't go back to them. Find a local property manager, drive the neighborhoods, find a house that's available, call on it, look for it out there. Never give out your financial info. Okay, so never give your uh, bank account information, your social security number, your routing numbers, those kind of things. Don't give those to anybody on Craigslist or on Facebook. Make sure that they are a legitimate person. Maybe it's a legitimate property manager like us here at Legacy Real Estate Services. We manage about 300 single family residences here and that makes us legitimate. We're licensed by the state of Texas to manage properties for individuals. That's going to be your safest bet is to work with a local property manager in order to protect your money. Uh, refuse background checks until you have met the landlord or the employer in person. And that's a good one because if somebody asks you, hey, I need your social security number, your date of birth, well, that's a clue right there. Now, if you're putting it in on a legitimate property manager's website or your local realtor has taken you into the properties to see it, okay, you're getting through the channels the right way. Have some knowledge of what similar homes are gonna be renting for. When this young lady yesterday pulled up to the house, she looked at it, she said, this sounds too good to be true. And that's the next tip on the list, is if it sounds too good to be true, you can probably fill in the blank. It probably is too good to be true. So stay away from it. If you need help renting a home, if you need help with property management here in El Paso, please give us a call. We'd be happy to help you. But the biggest thing is we want to protect your money. We don't want you to get scammed especially here in the springtime when it is the peak PCS season for us here in El Paso. Keep your money safe, work with somebody local, make sure that they've been vetted by a third party, such as the Texas Real Estate Commission, and then you're gonna have a high likelihood that you're gonna get into a situation that will protect your money and make sure that you get into a good home here in El Paso. Thanks for watching, God bless you, and make it a great day. Bye-bye.